guys and welcome to Feed the Beast on the Eco Beast server. Today is episode 21. I'm pretty sure it's 21. Don't quote me on that. But uh, today we've got some plans. Um, as you can see, I have been working away from camera. I literally did this just after I finished recording the last episode. And uh, I made it into a more functional area. As you can see, I put loads of different trees around here. Hopefully these are going to pollinate each other and we can look for some mutations in um, the leaves. That's the whole point of this. Um, we've got the bees down here. I need to get some more bees. Um, I've got eight in here in total, so I got four um, apiaries in the center and I got four on the outer corners and a bit of water just in case I need to plant some stuff to get some seeds. Um, but uh, yeah, this is cool. Um, I've got some blue electricity panels up here that are powering these machines. This one can go off. That's my squeezer. As you can see, there's enough seed in there to like make three more seed cans if I need to make any more apiaries. But I think we're fine for now. I think we got some, yeah, we got some sturdy cases already in here, just in case we need to make make some more. But this is primarily for the trees. This is guys. Um, I've well, you need the you need the bees to you know cross pollinate the the trees and stuff like that. And uh, I haven't seen any uh, mutations in the branches at the moment. But when I look in default texture pack, um, it kind of looks like some of the some of the leaf blocks are mutated. So I don't know whether it's my saw tax pack that's not telling me that some of these leaves have been like mutated. Which I may have to only use default texture pack in this area if that is the case. But as you can see, I got a really nice setup. I have had a creeper come in here and blow up when when I was making this, and that was really really annoying. Um, I've got the cables all hidden underneath underneath those uh, these uh, cobblestone fascias panels, so it looks all nice. You can see the cables in here, unfortunately, but this is awesome. I like it. It's a nice little setup for the trees. We've got the power. We've got the machines I need. Um, I'm possibly going to build a shed down here as well, um, just so I can put some more machines down here if I need to, and I need to fence the area off because. Um, there's been many occasions where creepers have walked in here <laughs> and, um, you know, I just don't want it blowing this up because I put some effort into this and it's not very cool. Um, I've got two chests down here. I've got the one, this one's for the trees and this one is for the bees. As you can see, I've got a Fumion scoop here with Repair 2 on it and uh, I've got the Grafter with Repair 2. I actually, um, I haven't discovered the Grafter yet, but, um... I did a trade with Barry on the server, so I made a scoop and I traded it for a, uh, a grafter, which is cool. But today we need to do some more work on the sorting room. We need to make a router, so we need to make some dark iron blocks at some point. But before then, we need to go and visit Matt, who is uh, he's one of the new members on the server. He's actually doing a series over on his channel too, so make sure you check the links out in the description. And this keeps backing up all the time. I don't know why, but... If you look in here, um, all these items have a delegated um, chest. Oh, Matt's gone. But anyway, we need to go and see his base. Anyway, I've got his cords in the chat. Everything in there has a delegated chest, like this coal there, and this iron, and this copper. But stuff is backing up in here. And I really, really don't know why. So we're going to have to look at this at some point. If I take the dirt out... Does that work? No. See, that's really weird because it all has its own place. Uh, with the routers, though, I know that you don't need these. Um, uh, uh, what are these called? These pipes, and you can just have um, barrels touching each other. But as long as a router is connected to a, did something go in there? As long as a router is connected to a barrel, it'll just fill them accordingly and map out where it needs to go. So we can possibly. Hmm, we can double this storage because these pipes can go and we just put barrels here and we can just put barrels all over the place actually. Let's take those out. See, something is coming along the pipe now. It's one of those nim roots. Oh, maybe that's what was backed up. See, okay, it was possibly trying to send an item that doesn't... What? Oh, see, it's putting coal in these now. See, and but there's a coal one over there, so the router is really essential to um, making this more functional. Uh, let's get rid of that. 
Okay, so Matt wants some rubber saplings. He's having some trouble where he is at the moment. He's probably in a biome that doesn't have any. So we're gonna go and deliver some to him. And then when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna make a raft lighter. We're gonna make some dark iron. Um, uh, because I need the dark iron to make the the router, unfortunately. But we can use the dark iron to make upgrades for the router, like speed and a bandwidth, so we can deal with more items faster too. Right, what else do I need to talk about before we go on our little adventure? Okay, Matt lives about 3,000 or 2,000 blocks away. I think that's how far... Uh, he's about 2,500, 3,000 blocks away, so I'm going to have to jump cut until I'm like coming close to his house. Um, yeah, we can make some raft lights too, to light the area up. We can possibly um, put a raft light in the center of these too. So that would mean I can take away all these torches, which would be absolutely amazing. I've had, I had a creeper spawn on top of here earlier. Probably on this bit because it's quite dark. Okay, so let's go over to Max, drop off some rubber trees. Um, I've got my portal gun with me, so we can just portal back. Uh, Matt doesn't have a um, portal in the nether yet because he's he's been literally on the server for like about a week now or just under a week so I'm gonna head on over to Matt's house guys and I'll probably cut back in once we start arriving at his base so I'll see you in just a moment once we um you know we arrive at our destination see you in a mo Okay, we still got our ages to go. <laughs> the the land's generating at the moment as I'm flying. I decided to bring my scoop with me just in case I need to, um, well, just in case I find any bees. So let's go. On my way. That's a good thing about hover mode is that um, if you type in, like, in the chat, <laughs> you can just leave on hover and you don't have to worry. Um, see these areas here? This is quite notorious for Feed the Beast. Um, you actually get these areas on maps quite regular. It's really weird. Okay, let's keep going. I think bees give off... Um, the beehives give off light. So if we see any at the ni in night, it's going to be really obvious to us. Hopefully I can find one now. And I can show... Ooh, it's a big square. Oh, it's water. I haven't really done too much exploring of this map, but... I really want to. There's some really beautiful places in this map. Okay, I think we have found a bee hive. Hopefully there's no mobs down here. Yeah, there's one by here. I think this is like a, <clears throat> what's it called? Like a frost, winter drone, and a winter princess. And then we've got a frozen comb. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm just going to make my way to Matt's, and I am going to pick up as many bees as I possibly can. Okay, we're about halfway there now, so I'm going to do another jump cut until I arrive. Oh, I've actually got quite a lot of uh, winter, um, yeah, winter hives anyway, or drones and princesses, so I don't think I'm going to collect any more. Yeah, there's another one there. I don't need that. And that dog's hungry for sheep. Okay, I'm going to jump cut again, guys. If I find anything interesting on the way, I'll show you. So, see you in just a moment. Okay, we should be coming up on his house now. I could really do with some rocky drones just for the tree breed in the area. Because I think if you just put a, a, like a, a princess in, I don't think you need a drone. Because I think the princess still, um, still does the work on the trees. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. I don't think you need to breed them. Okay, I'm keeping an eye out just in case I see any rocky, um, any rocky, um, sort of beehives around here. Hmm, I don't see none. Yeah, if you're going bee hunting, it's definitely best at night time because you see, you see the light coming off their, um, off the beehives. Okay, we should be coming up to his house now. I know he lives in a autumn wood land. Very similar to the place I live. I think the autumn woods are such a nice place. It's so pretty. Oh, I see a beehive. Okay, well, I'll, ta I'll take one. I don't want to take too many from here because Matt lives here. What have we got? Meadows and Meadow Princess. Okay, so those should work at my um at my base. Okay, he should be around here somewhere. 
Let's just chat. Oh, there's a there's a silver wood tree over there as well. Let's just check the chat. Two thousand eight hundred, two thousand seven twenty. So it's pretty much by here. Um. Oh, and he just left. He's having com problems with his computer at the moment. I know he lives on top of a tree as well, so it shouldn't be that too hard to spot his house. Well, last time I came here, he had a house on top of a tree. Let's just have a fly around and see. Yeah, he's definitely around here. He's got a lot of silver woods here. Where is your house, dude? Nighthawk, join the game. Okay, I'm gonna do another cut now, guys. And oh, there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> I was looking for a place on top of a tree, but you obviously, well, he doesn't live on top of a tree anymore. Okay, so I'm assuming this is his place. Is there a sign here? No. Okay, so we will. We can. I don't know whether we should leave him a sign or not. Well, we can leave him a sign. This in here. We'll put this in here. Oh, he's got two logic matrix. Okay, so we'll put this in here, that and that. Um. There you go. Juicy. Okay, we can go back home now. With my portal gun of justice. Okay. Put the blue one down. Perfecto. Let's put the blue one back by. Actually, we'll... Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't want to put that down just in case. Oh, I had to go back to Matt's house. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, so we got some more bees. We can put these in my bee chest. And then we'll work on... The, the Wrath Igniter today, actually. Um, there is a little trick I have learned regarding packet stampers that I got from watching one of Michael's videos. If you don't know who Michael is, Michael is from uh, the Minecraft guys. He's, yeah. Okay, so we can put this in here in the centrifuge. I was going to call this an industrial centrifuge then, but it's not. Okay. Cook it up. Yeah, that's cool because it gives me more honey drops. And honey drops are, is what I need for my bee and tree elizer. Okay, so, raft lighter. To make a raft lighter, we need... Um, we need a diamond block and we need a packet stamper. So we need to get... Well, we only need one diamond block. But I don't know how many... I think it's like nine diamonds to make a diamond block. So I think we just need to put nine diamonds in my compressor. Or eight. Nine. Okay, so we've got a diamond block. The diamond block needs to be crushed now, so we've got diamond... Um, what would you call it? Diamond fragments or diamond pieces? How is this getting on now? Stuff is flowing out, that's good. I think it was because there was an item in there that doesn't have a delegated place, um, this root. So it was backing up the system because that was clogging it. So we're going to work on the router, RAF lighters and stuff. Okay, so I found this like really weird idea on how to... It's not a weird idea, it's like a glitch in the game that gives you... Um, it gives you a packet stamper. Let me show you. Um... I need a barrel to do this. I do have a lot of barrels somewhere. Where are they too? They should be right in front of my face. Yeah, I got more filters here as well. I mean, I, every time I make something, I always make additional items. Um, so crafting in future is a lot easier for me. Oh come on! I got a ton of barrels here somewhere. There was twenty odd. Okay, so you get one of these, and then we need a torch. Don't tell me I haven't got no torches in here. I'll just borrow this one. And then we'll put a torch here. We'll put this here. And then we'll get the portal gun. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you already know this, guys, but we're going to do this anyway. Okay, so you pick the barrel up with the gravity sort of feature of the portal gun. Like so. 
and then we drop it on here. Oh shit, we need to pick it up. See, as you can see, it changes. Okay, so we drop it. And then pick this up. And then we've got a craft packet maker. It's like, what? How did that happen? I have no idea. I was just watching one of Michael's videos. And he did it. Um, it's because it shares the same item. It's because the barrel shares the same item ID as a craft packet maker. So it's a bit of a, what the hell? Okay. So how do I use this now? Uh, do I put... Okay, um, let's have a look. Let's just go. Let's just say I was gonna say Google something then. Diamond. Okay, so we need these diamond shards. Give me the recipe. No. Oh, we need a packet stamper actually, not a packet make. Uh, I don't think. Oh no, we need the packet maker to make the packet, and then the packet maker goes in the packet stamper. I don't know. Okay, so we need a piston, cobblestone, and some other stuff. Okay, guys, I'm going to jump cut by here and get this recipe all um, put together, and then I'll show you the construction of it. Um, you probably already know, because you're all brainiacs who watch this video, but um, I'll be right back in just a moment. Okay, I have the ingredients for the packet stamp, and now let's just craft them. Okay, so I think it's free iron here. Crafting bench in one of these, and then uh, cobblestone in the corners. Okay, we have a craft packet stamper. I'm not sure if these need to be powered or not, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place them down by here for now. Okay, so we need to make a craft packet. What do we do? Do we put um do we put paper in here? Uh where do I have paper? Paper paper. I have paper in my tower. I sure I got a ton of paper from somewhere. See as you can see it's really important for me to um Get this sort in system all done because it's really, really a pain in the bum. And in here, oh, we should have loads of paper down here actually. In my enchanting area. Let's have a look. No. I thought I put a ton of paper in here for making books just the other day. Oh, yeah, as you can see, we have business too. I managed to get a tier 2 skelly um, shard from um, from going to the twilight and just killing loads of mobs. I actually found um, a skelly spawner with berry just the other day too, so I got the soul from that. What am I doing looking at that? What's on here? Nothing. Okay, so... Oh, only have two paper in here. I'm sure I got a ton of paper from Maz's just the other day because I took down some reeds. Okay, I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to jump cut again just to get this stuff together. I'll see you in just a moment. Okie dokie. I just went to Maz's house to get some paper. Damn. I need to. Oh, I've got some reeds down here actually. When I get this area developed properly and the water is flowing nicely around, um, I should get some reeds down there <laughs> so this doesn't happen again. Okay, so let's craft a bit of paper. I'm pretty sure that I don't need anything too much. I've I've seen people make packets before. I don't. I seriously don't think that. Um, I can't place that there. Oh, craft packet, and then... Oh no! What the hell? Um... Oh, I got... Uh, is there a recipe of, like, some sort of... Mm. Let's have a look. I need to compress these again. Okay, let's try this once more. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to... 
I'm going to have to have a look. Anyway, I just want to mention about something. Um, I had a comment on my last video of people um, commenting on things during the video. Like, um, when I was doing the bees, I discovered halfway through my video to make the, the, the impregnated cases, I needed seed oil. And I put seeds in, like two, and then I discovered I needed more seeds. So I went off and I got two stacks of seeds from Maz's. Um, <laughs> it's pretty obvious that some people watch only half the video and comment on it and don't see that I actually find the solution later on in the video so it's like you know it's a bit silly really okay so can I do this what was it what the hell it's gonna be diamonds back Oh, shizzle. Okay, let me just jump cut again. I am so sorry. <laughs> so you can tell I'm a noob at this. Oh, yeah, look at my platinum. I've got one platinum dust. Ooh, see you in a moment. <laughs> okay, so it appears I need to make the craft packet on a crafting table directly. So I need four gunpowder and four obsidian to do this. This is kind of weird. I don't know. Okay, so where is my gunpowder? i got two... <laughs> oh, don't tell me I don't have enough gunpowder. I'm pretty sure I've been saving up gunpowder since the beginning of beginning of days. Um, I think I've got some gunpowder up in my safe up here. Damn, I hope I don't have to go on a creeper hunt now. Okay, eight. Okay, we need four TNT. Okay, we need some sand. Oh, sand's in the other one. Oh, I've been making some of these bad boys too. I need to make some more solar panels. Um, in here. What? I got. I made sand just the other day. I put it in here. Sawmill. Pulverizer. Okay, this can go in the induction furnace. The induction furnace is so damn good, man. Compressor. Um, yeah, um, it's quite slow at the beginning, but once this heats up, it, it just cooks everything so damn fast. And it cooks two different things at the same time. Okay. Sand. Um, I think there may be a barrel for sand. I think... Is that sand? Yes. Okay, so we need four TNT and four... Um, thingamajiggies. Okay, is this how you make... TNT. Oh, I'm not going to afford TNT. Okay, um, we need to go on a creeper hunt. Okay. And it is daytime. Where would a creeper be in the day? There may be some walking around here somewhere. I think grounded space is the perfect place for uh, creepers. Um, it's very ill lit lit up <laughs> so it's the perfect habitat if you're in a, an emergency for a mob what's that I was a sheep okay creeper is under the ground or is it up here whoa wrong button Creeper up here. There's a creeper inside. What the hell? It's telling me there's a creeper here. And Grant just said he finished this. Dude, there's no train on here. I can't go nowhere. It must be on the underside of here. There he is. No TNT. Okay, guys. I'm just going to make a montage right now of me trying to get some creepers. Night time's coming in, I'm pretty sure. So I'll see you in just a moment. OK, 
Okay, and we are back, and I think we... Oh, shit, man. As you just saw, a creeper just exploded, and... Uh, oh, these guys! And it kind of took out a bit of Barry's shop, so <laughs> I'm going to have to try and fix this before we go back. Oh, man. Okay, uh, as you know, as you can see, I brought my scoop with me as well, so... That's going to help out a lot. Okay, so there was a row of soul sand here. One, two... And then there was this. One, two, three, four. Is this grown? Yes, one there. Oh, I think one of the soul sand got destroyed. I'm sorry, Barry. Oh, man. Some. Uh, okay, uh, well. Is there a chest here? Let's have a look where he got. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got soul sand. Okay, there's just a little bit of um, crack stone missing. I'm so sorry, dude. I really didn't do that was so unintentional. Okay, so blue is home. I think. Okay, blue is not home. Okay, let's just fly home. Okay, so we have eleven TNT now. I just needed ten more to, in order to um get the remaining um, TNT. I just double checked at the recipe then. I got it on my other screen to the left. This is grounded space. It really needs to be lit up. If you ever want a mob farm, you don't need one on you. You just go to grounded space and it's just pretty much mobs everywhere. Okay. What the hell? That's the most annoying thing ever is people leaving crafting benches on top of trees. <laughs> Okay, we got a bit of a storm going tonight, so our windmill is going to be in full action. Let's check it out. Look at that. That is pumping in power. Let me just show you something. This is going to be for a future project. Ah, stuck on the hitbox. This is going to be for a future project, but I have been storing up energy in the roof. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. So that is going to be going to good use. Okay, so um, let's just go in. Oh, get this craft package fixed. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay, so sand needs to go in these. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, four TNT. That is what we need. And then we need to grab some obsidian. I think there's some in here. Basalt. There was obsidian being stored downstairs, unless it's got its own place. Obsidian. Is this still pumping through? See, it's all backed up now. It's because there is something like that. Oh, I see, it wants to put saplings through. We don't need saplings. Maybe I should try and filter them out some way. Okay, well, there's definitely obsidian in the sh in the safe upstairs, man. I think today's episode is going to be quite a long one. Um, I have no idea how long I've been recording for, but I want to see. Thanks for sticking around. It's really, really epic. I think before we go, we are going to use my 26 levels on a book, and we're going to make this um, soul shard too. We're going to make our tier five skelly soul shard. So this needs to go in the corners. That thunderstorm is pretty awesome. If I had a lightning rod right now, I would be getting so much power. Okay, craft packet. This goes into the stamper. Oh, yes! Check it out, baby. Okay, so now we need to make a raft light, which is never brick. And how do I make never brick? Um. Okay, we can make a never brick with this. So let's get. Let's put. I've eh, got so much rubbish in my inventory. Okay, let's put this back. Uh, we can cook these up into bricks and make never. Um, never brick blocks. Let's put it in the electric furnace for additional results. No? Or do we need to compress it? Oh, compressing makes... Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we can make a raft lamp now. It's that. Uh, this, I think. Or this, or this, or this. 
Oh, damn. On top? Oh, finally. I was going to tab out then. I was like, okay, well, this needs to go in my inventory because that's deadly. Okay, so let's make some iron blocks in the compressor. That will do for now. Okay, let's just turn this into iron blocks. We have so much iron. And we need to go somewhere where um, um, I can use this raft lighter because I don't want to be damage in the place. As you know, this raft light does so much damage. Okay, so we put the blue one back here. I always put one block above the floor because... Is your back in here then? I always put one before the floor because you always get stuck in the ground. Okay, six will do. Okay, so we got the igniter and that. Okay, um, let's put some rubbish in there. In a, um, okay, let's put that in here. Let's just dump all this in here for now. We'll keep those. No, 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 no. Oh man, I think I'm going to have to call this episode short. As soon as we make this um, router, I think that's going to be it then, guys. Huh? Oh, there. I have and uh, Okay, we can do that. I've got like one pearl left. Okay, there is a desert in this direction here. Hopefully, I've got enough power. It's like an abandoned desert down here that people just... Um, I think one of the old guys who don't play on the server anymore because they just got really bad internet used to live over here. There's like an old village down here too. Maybe we can do it in the village. The only bad thing is that this raft lighter, um, it pretty much cooks anything that it touches. So it's very deadly. I haven't used one before. Okay, so we need to put... I think I'll put the blocks here, actually. One, two. One, two. One, two. This village is, like, not used anymore, so... I don't think there's any living NPCs here at all. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to light the iron blocks, and it should make... Dark iron! Maybe I only need to click once. I don't know. So the color of this iron is going to go black, I think. I think so. Anyway, I hope this doesn't spread. Yay, it's turning. Oh, this is amazing. We have to wait for it to go out now. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Okay. Think. Ah! I think we're all good. That didn't spread. I think we just learned something new then. If you want to raft light something, do it on top of on top of an NPC roof. Okay, so can we turn these into ingots now? Oh yes, we got dark iron ingots. Just what I needed. Okay, let's go back to base. Oh, I'm so happy about the, the it didn't spread and damage anything. That is really cool. Okay, I'm using my boost key and my jetpack's like 16%. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we want two ender pills and an egg. Two ender pills and an egg. Two ender pills and an egg. Here we go. Here we go. Two ender pills and a stinky egg. After all this this success, I bet a creep bell just blow up on me. Okay, let's just double check. Ender pearl, ender eye, eye of ender. We can make a few eyes of enders actually. We'll make three while we're at it. Um, I did actually pick up some ender pills yesterday. I think I put them down with the bees because because I think you can do it, use ender pills with bees. I'm not sure. Perfect. So we want to keep one. Okay, let's go. I was just checking the chest to see if there's anything in there that I needed. Okay, there should be a lonely blaze rod in here. 
Oh, there's eight. Okay, cool. Well, we just want to do that, and then we want... We'll have one eye of Ender for now. Put the portal gun there where it's nice and safe. No! I just got getting wood as well. That's crazy. Okay, so we need one egg. There should be an egg here. Okay, so... Dish. That, and it'll show us the recipe. One, two, three. I have enter. Ender pill. And an egg. We finally have a router. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have no idea how the router connects. Um, can I do this and that? And then do... Mm. Spitting out, spitting all over my face. Oh, that's facing up. Um, where's the pipes? Give me the pipes quickly. Can I do this? And then these? Insert into top sides. Is this doing stuff now? Okay, there's a sapling in there which we don't need. <clears throat> okay, something. Okay, let's check the dirt. Is there another dirt one here? That number's going down, so it's pumping somewhere. There must be another dirt barrel. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm really confused. Where is... Oh, it's building up in the... Um, 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 I'm confused. Let me take it down quickly. Okay, so we need to put the pipe back on here. Okay, um, where is the pipe? We have a pipe missing. Let me guess it sorted the pipe into something. Okay, let's see. We should have a spear one somewhere. Um, here we go. Pneumatic tubes. Okay, we'll put this back. Okay, I think we are getting closer to having a more sufficient um sorting system. Um, what I need to do, I need to connect this directly to barrels rather than having the pneumatic pipes. That's backing up in there. Why isn't it? Let's take that out. Okay, there it goes. It was, a f it was I think, the, the router put it back into there. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to make one, two, three, we, four, we can make five routers and we can put one on each barrel here. And then what we can do, yeah, we put the router here where this bottom pipe is on each of these. And what we can do, we can fill this entire thing with barrels. Same here. We can fill all that with barrels here, 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 and along here. And what I can do, I can use this filter. Maybe I can use more than one filter so I can send all the rubbish stuff over here. So instead of having diamonds over the same side of where the dirt is, we can have all the dirt, gravel, and stuff over there. Over the back wall here, we can have diamonds in the far left corner, and then slowly breaking down into sort of materials that we at least going to use. So we're getting ever so closer. Um, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Today's been a long episode, I know. Um, I just want to say thanks for sticking around, and uh, I shall see you next time in some more Adventures of, Mi uh, Adventures of Minecraft. What am I on about? In uh, Feed the Beast on EcoBeast server. If you have any tips, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, please let me know more about the bees, and the, uh, well, specifically more about the trees. Um, can I just put dro um, princesses in these hives without drones? I just have them cross-pollinate, sort of mutate some of these leaves. And, um, yeah, let me know about the texture pack, too, because I'm sure I saw a mutation in default, but not in 
um, Sawtex that I'm currently using at the moment. But anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Today has been a very long episode, but I want to say thanks for sticking with me on this. I've got a nice bit of editing to do after this as well, of course. But <laughs> So, you know, I'm putting my effort in. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And this place is going to become more beautiful and beautiful with every single episode. I love this place at the moment. I love the ring of trees around here. Um, we're going to keep adding more and more and more. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I shall be seeing you soon with some more Feed the Beast. So peace out.